Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install OpenSUSE. So here we are to uh, get OpenSUSE, uh, open a web browser and go to OpenSUSE.org. Uh, there are two versions available. There's Tumbleweed, uh, which is a rolling release. Uh, this is recommended for um, people that um, like to keep the system up to date all the time. And there's Leap, that's a traditional release. Uh, the one I'm going to be using is Leap. Uh, this is the one I think is more suitable for the everyday Linux user. Uh, so we can go to the install Leap link. And you've got this uh, brand new way of building OpenSUSE and a new type of hybrid distribution. And then you click this download here. and it gives you the options for downloading. And then uh, obviously you want to go to the Intel or AMD 64-bit uh, desktops and you want to click on the updated offline image, which is this download here. What you want to do next is you want to go to etcher.io and you want to click on download etcher and then you want to choose for the operating system you're using so in this case windows uh, once that's finished you want to click on the executable uh, this window will appear um, click on i agree and now we're at the point where we can start using etcher so at this point you want to wait for this download to finish once it does um, close um, the browser down uh, as if by magic um, I have already downloaded the image uh, you will find it in your downloads folder um, I've actually got it in a special distros folder and you can see all the distros that I've downloaded thus far you need to insert a new USB drive um, a USB drive that you're happy to lose all the data on or a brand new USB drive now click flash from file uh, in your case, get it from the downloads folder because that's where it should be. In my case, I've copied it to the distros folder and I'm just going to choose Open SUSE. I'm going to select my target, which is the SanDisk Cruiser, and then I'm going to select one. And finally, I'm going to click Flash. And you can see it's going to take a while to flash the image to the drive. When the USB has finished formatting, it will say flash completed. You can now reboot your computer uh, and you can put the USB drive in the computer you want to put OpenSUSE onto. Uh, when your computer starts, press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu. Then choose your USB drive. And then we choose an installation. Okay, so here we are at the start. You can see it's working its way through setting things up. And finally, we get to this welcome screen. It's a bit old school, this installer. Uh, so you've got a license agreement. I'm going to click next. I'll ask you if you want to activate YAST uh, online repositories. I'm going to click yes. Uh, these are the default repositories. I'm going to leave them alone and click next. As you see, we're getting further through on the last of the repositories. So now we're on the next bit. Uh, so you can choose which uh, desktop you want to go for. Uh, I think I'm going to go KDE Plasma. And then it's proposing your disk layout. Um, so it's going to delete some partitions, then create new ones. Um, so it's going to create me a eight megabyte BIOS partition. Uh, it's going to create fifty five gigabyte PTO, WTRFS partition, and two gigabytes for swap. 
next. This is assuming you're installing to um, a single hard drive and overwriting all other um, operating systems and files on there. So you want to make sure you've backed up your system in case you want to get back to a previous point in time before you start. So now we're here, I uh, need to choose where you are on the map. Uh, so Europe in my case, and then London. Oh. United Kingdom. Next. And then setting up a username and a password. And then you can import data from previous installation uh, and skip user creation if you want to. But I'm going to click next. It's, it says the password is too simple in my case. If you use a simple password, it's okay. Um, this is just a demo. And then we've got installation overview. It's telling you what's going to happen during the installation. And then I'm going to click install. Confirm installation. This is your last point of uh, no return, really. So if you click install now, your hard drive will be wiped and anything on it will be lost. So make sure you take a backup if you need anything on there. And if you don't want to install OpenSUSE, click back now and then cancel out the installer. But I'm going to click install. And you see it says starting installation. Uh, first thing is preparing disks. Then I assume it's copy files and then install hardware, etc. At this point, you can go away, come back um, at the end of the installation. Eventually, yeah, when you reboot, you can take the USB drive out and then you'll get to this screen and you can choose OpenSUSE uh, Leap. And it should now boot into OpenSUSE. Yeah. And that is the end of the video. Please hit the like button and click subscribe for more content from Everyday Linux user.